on today, guys. We've got an exciting video. Um, not necessarily anything action-packed, but we've got a big update for the SRT4. So as you guys know, well, hopefully you've seen the video about me going to a big turbo build with uh, BC Stage 2 cams, head studs, head gasket, all that, all that fun stuff. So uh, my buddy Chris that I mentioned in the previous video, um, he finally got the car a couple weeks ago, or it's been, it's been a few weeks now, maybe almost a month or so, but he's just been kicking ass on it, like flying through everything. Um, I'm gonna put some pictures in throughout the video just to kind of update you guys. Um, so started out, he got everything tore off uh, the car, obviously. Um, got the head off and did some inspecting and uh, I'll insert a picture around here. The head um, and the valves were looking really crusty and uh, kind of unfortunate. He was a little concerned that they might be leaking. He said it looked like the car was running lean for a while. Never had the car tuned, um, was very low on funds, just everything I could to keep the car on the road at the time. So um, luckily, Engel, he really knows what he's doing. He got everything cleaned up. He did um, a leak test. None of the valves leaked once he cleaned everything up. So that was a huge uh, relief there. Um, so then from there, he started putting everything back together, put the uh, cams in, uh, obviously the head gasket, head studs, um, the uh, springs, uh, then the cam gears, all that stuff. And like I said, I'll trickle the pictures in uh, here and there. But um, so after that, he was doing some testing on the wiring and I don't know if I've mentioned to you guys much about the voltage drop issue that I had on the car. Um, so he was doing some testing on those wires. A few of the plugs had been spliced really poorly in the past um, if in the stock harness. So he was gonna do some rewire uh, uh, plugs, like some new plugs with the rewire kit or repair kit. And uh, he suggested that I go with a kinet kinetic, I believe, kinetic wiring. Uh, I, I think that's what the name of it is. But anyway, we got a super nice uh, tucked brand new wiring harness for the car. And it actually came with a plug and play for the uh, watt box. And that was a pretty big um, relief there because that like literally leaves no room for splicing like everything's pretty much plug and play at that point so the the harness itself is like pretty much fresh now um and also there's no splices for the watt box so everything should be cherry on um, as far as that goes um he got the manifold the turbo on all the new lines um he, he said he i think he redid the vacuum lines um, tidied up some stuff and uh, right now it's actually getting the exhaust work done so that's like the the biggest step to making everything come together and being able to actually start running and for Engle to start tuning it and getting it driving so I'm super excited um, I hope you guys are too the car is gonna sound great it's gonna run better than it ever has before um, Engel has actually absolutely killed it and he's been just flying through this build and uh, he really knows what he's doing and uh, he's really taking care of me so I don't think I missed much there's obviously a few little pieces here and there that have to go in the car um, oh I guess I didn't really touch on fuel uh, he did obviously put the injectors in um, he Put the new fuel pump in the 535 fuel pump um he actually did a rewire kit for the uh fuel pump as well so there should not be any weak points as far as we know um with the wiring and um he's really taking care of me uh car should be starting here soon and i hope i'll have another update video for you guys on that and uh yeah i hope you guys are stoked and i know this is just like a lot of talking but I had to do an update because of how much progress that he's made. And uh, now, yeah, my buddy Owen is doing the exhaust work. Shout out to him. Um, it's in, in town in, uh, in Indiana, so didn't have to go anywhere like crazy far. He, it's like a few miles down the road and he's he does like top notch welding um, fabrication. And uh, it, I'm really excited for him to have a little touch on the car. He's just adapting from the turbo 
uh, to the existing exhaust, which you guys will see in the pictures. Um, but uh, not a, not an easy uh, little thing to do there because of how tight it is with that huge turbo right in between the engine and the firewall. And you've got like what seems like this much room to make the bend to go down to the existing downpipe. So um, like I said, I hope you guys are stoked. Hopefully here soon I'll have at least a startup video and uh, maybe a, hopefully a little walk around of the car just to show that it's done. And then um, as soon as I can get back to Indiana and the car's ready, I'm, I'm gonna do like a driving video with it. So I'm, I'm very excited. I, the car deserves it. It's, it's gonna be so, so good to have that car solid again. And well, it's never really been solid per se since I've had it, but now it's all fresh. Uh, Engel is the man. He took care of everything for me. So I can't wait. So sorry, rambling, talking, excitement. Um, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.